This molecule is called tumor necrosis factor, or TNF, and in small quantities, it's good for you, but when overproduced, it damages organs and can cause the body to go into lethal shock. This discovery led us to develop an experimental drug to inhibit TNF production. When we injected this drug into the brain, it blocked the TNF. What we didn't expect was that it blocked TNF throughout the rest of the body as well. This meant the brain was somehow controlling how the immune system made TNF. We then tracked signals being sent from the brain to the spleen along the vagus nerve. This nerve connects the body's organs to the brain like a superhighway, conducting information to and from the organs. Subsequently, we reasoned that using an electrode on the vagus nerve could also inhibit TNF production. After electrically stimulating the nerve, the neural signal did indeed stop the TNF production in the spleen, liver, heart, and other organs. We had discovered a new reflex that controls the immune system. Further investigation revealed that this electrical signal is converted to neurotransmitter release. In the spleen, the first neurotransmitter is norepinephrine, which turns on T-cells. The T-cell in turn produces the second neurotransmitter called acetylcholine. The acetylcholine turns off molecular signals in the macrophage, which in turn inhibits TNF production. Bioelectronic medicine uses electrical signals to heal the body without the side effects of drugs.